Notre Dame oh so close to knocking Kentucky off its undefeated perch, but dropped to overall top seed Kentucky 68-66 in the Midwest Regional Final. Bonnie Bernstein in our Campus Insider Studios, joined now by the only Notre Dame coach ever to take the Irish to the Final Four back in 78, Digger Phelps. Digger, give me your take on the game. You weren't born in 78, Bonnie. I was, but you are so kind. Thank you. <laughs> well, let's say this. I think Mike Bray... Pat Connaughton and Jerry and Grant have done one super job with the Irish this year to get them in this game to get back to the final eight. Kentucky is amazing, as we all know. They find a way to steal games, win them. They've been tested all year in the SEC. And let's go back to the first game when they held Kansas to 40 points. Well, it's been a growth process for Willie Cauley-Stein taking on these young freshmen when you see what they did tonight. And obviously, Towns getting 25 points against the Irish, that was big. But more importantly, when they close that game on a 15-7 to run to win by two, that is vintage Kentucky this year and how they can play and win games. And more importantly, their defense shut down the Irish because they didn't, they didn't score the last two and a half minutes. And that's very unusual for Mike Bray's teams, especially with Jerry Grant, Pat Connaughton, August inside, Vastoria trying to find threes, and Darius Jackson who can score and penetrate. But credit Kentucky's defense for shutting down the Irish when it counts, where they don't score the last two and a half minutes of that game. Well, I want you to put your coach's hat back on, and let's talk about the end of the game. Five-point lead with about five and a half minutes left. As a coach, what was running through your head as the lead slipped away for Notre Dame? Well, the way they were going inside, I thought maybe, and, and Bray did it tonight earlier, even though they hit some outside shots. I would still chest their perimeter shots, Bonnie, but more importantly, I would have gone zone at the end of that game with that lead. Just pack it in, get the rebounds. Connaughton tonight was just tenacious getting defensive rebounds, and I would have relied on that versus letting them spread the floor, drive, penetrate, hit threes when they need them, or go to the hole and score or make the free throws under pressure. But that's just what Bray decided. But guess what? The Irish just did what they had to do. They felt this is how they could win the game. And this is what they did at their best. And yet, okay, fine. When you look at Grant taking that last shot when they're down two, I've seen him make those shots. We saw him tonight make two shots. With the shot clock going off, he made two threes. But at the end of the game, credit Kentucky's defense because they just smothered him. And that three had no chance of going in to try to win the game, and they end up winning by two. Well, even though it's the end of the road for the Irish, certainly an incredible turnaround from a sub-500 team last year. Digger, look forward to having you with us as we hit the road for Final Four. Campus Insiders in Indianapolis starting Thursday with a live show at Cadillac Ranch before Saturday's semifinals at 3 o'clock Eastern. Hope you'll be with us.